Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is an Unreal process has crashed UE runtime. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see Visual files. So you have to install these files. So install this x86 and x64. So click on x86 file and then click on x64 file and run both the exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install again and run this x64 file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both are installed you have to restart your computer a restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and then copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command hit the enter key now copy and paste the third command and then hit the enter key now once this is done now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game amd card users first of all uninstall the current version restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed uh, in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now again click on add desktop app this time open runtime folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add and then find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game now over here select high performance you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab first of all try open this runtime folder binaries win64 and then make a right click on this exe file select properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working the, again go to properties and this time put a check on over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now 
still not working you can do the same thing with the first exe file and then you can check so still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step do the same thing with the first exe file and the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then open the game folder select open this runtime binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps this time go back and select the first exe file click on open now do the same thing in the control panel so go open control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and this time open runtime binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option over here type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the saved game files create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress and the saved settings you have to start everything from start, st scratch so if you agree you can just uh, open file explorer on the computer go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data over here at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder over here you can see runtime folder create a backup so copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup over here now you can make a right click rename you can rename it whatever you want once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even delete this file folder you have to start everything from scratch you will lose all the saved settings and game progress next step is to update windows to the latest version so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running then you can open nvidia app and then go to settings and then turn off overlay over here nvidia overlay turn it off and then check if you have any other or simply close all the whole application and then launch the game if you have any third party application uh, third party application or software running close all the third party services and application next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings 
and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected when you update the BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game and then check. The last next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect additional controller connected. Sometimes we have extra controller connected. The controller which you are using, you can disconnect it, launch the game, and once everything is up and running, connect the controller and then check. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay, close all the overlay application, close all the overclocking application, and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, uh, you can just uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or c e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel